Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today. We have just finished up an action-packed day at San Jacinto National Monument. Here in Palm Springs, California, we're up around 10,000 feet in the mountains and also down around 400 feet in the sand. Both of those videos combined in this video to show you some of the best that this national monument in California has to offer. And today we were joined by one of our friends, Robert L. Ward, that I met also through YouTube. Santa Rosa and San Jacinto Mountains National Monument. Since about 2001, but the Palm Springs Aerial Tram has been here a long time before that, so. But it's actually my favorite of the new four here in California. I think you're gonna like it. It's pretty up there. Hope you enjoyed this video. trip to the mountain takes about 10 minutes to get you up there. It's 40 degrees at the top, uh, light winds and lots of sunshine. Tram car floor you're on, the floor here rotates. While you're standing on it, it gives everybody a little bit of a view. The floor rotates, but the rest of the car, and that includes the handrails you're trying to hold on to, do not move. So this incredible tram system first opened in 1963. In 2000, the rotating cars were added, making it the largest rotating aerial tramway in the entire world. The two and a half mile ride takes a little over 12 minutes to get to the top, and it travels up to the mountain station, located 8,516 feet above sea level. The air temperature on the top can also be 40 degrees cooler than the valley floor. And on a clear day, views to the east and the west can stretch as far as 75 miles. So we have exited the tram, and the goal today is to hike to the peak of this mountain from this point on. But before we do that, we're at the observation deck. Well, guys, we you check this out. We started off about 2,500 feet at the Sonoran zone. We're now up about 8,500 feet at the Arctic zone. And we're gonna start layering up pretty soon because it's chilly up here. All right, so we have officially begun our hike right now. We're gonna head up to the peak. Uh, roughly 2,500 feet elevation gain, I believe. Uh, 10 mile round trip. So it's uh, no joke, about a half a Grand Canyon, but gorgeous day today. So that's the ranger station right there. Good guy, but bad news. Because of that snowfall last night, the trail is impassable and indistinguishable as well. So we are not going up to the peak today about six inches of snow without snowshoes even if you knew where the trail was uh, you're just not going to make it so we're going to look around the top of the mountain here it still is absolutely gorgeous and then we'll head down and try to give you some more activities of things that you could do here in this monument So the sign says at this point, San Jacinto Peak, 5.5 miles. We have been on a trail. It's packed down pretty good. The only question is, how long is it gonna last? So I brought these yak tracks. Might as well put them to use. So we're actually turning around right now. If I can push it to its max, maybe we made it one mile, but we met an experienced hiker in the trail. 
This guy pulls, snowshoes, all the gear, and he's like, you're really not getting much further than this. Um, so, still amazing. So we'll head back and uh, see if we can show you some more sites within this national monument. We are moving on. We're still in the same monument that we were before, but technically this is an Indian reservation within that monument called Taquiz. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. But if we skip lunch, within probably 30 minutes, you saw where we were regarding the snow up in the mountain. Now we're down in the sand in the desert, probably 85, 90 degrees out here. So this is an amazing state. They can go to two different climates within a span of maybe 30 minutes. We're gonna check out this trail. We heard there's a waterfall at the end. Share this with you real quick. This is for you. Wow, we're starting off the hike with a gift here. Yeah, made by my daughter Jessie. Look at this. See, um, I just think you needed a better gig. Oh, this is gorgeous. Here, come on. You want to be in the video? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see it. <laughs> Look at that. Our logo on the front. Yeah. Nice. And your quote on the back. Oh, that is awesome. And Nicole, cool? you got to get a closer look at this, Anthony. She did a good job. That is the oh. famous trademark for America's Parks. Yeah. This is from your daughter Jessie. Yeah. All right, we're going to put a link down on the bottom of the video so you can check out her in the description. Yeah. Momster Vinyl. Yeah. Very nice job. Jesse, if you're watching, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Let's go. As the sun is setting, we have reached the end of the trail, and I'm looking at the treasure that we've been pursuing. Check this out. So America's Parks likes to experience the environment. We are in the cold, frigid waters. But thanks so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to our channel. And remember, there's always room for you on every national park adventure. Let's go deeper in the waterfall. And let me also say this too, as we are kicking off season five here at America's Parks, I really want to thank you for all of your support. We reached two amazing milestones. We hit the 10,000 subscriber mark and we also hit our one millionth view. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your encouraging comments. Thank you for supporting the channel. But more than the numbers, I just want to say I am so thankful for all the special friends that I've met in the YouTube community. You are all dear friends to me. I love you. And it's so good to get to know you through the internet, but also at times in person. Thank you. <laughs> that didn't work out too good. Base Nears. Oh, man. How would you? It's cold. Because the snowfall last night, the trail. Thanks so much for watching this video today. Am I centered? <laughs>